ARCHICAD is one of the major BIM authoring tools for architects worldwide. In this small series of videos, I'm going to present you with the basics of how to use it. In ARCHICAD 23, the first window that you see is this one. It's meant to be filled with previews of projects that you already worked on. With this new installation, it's completely empty and I'll hit the new button. The first thing to decide is the template you're going to use. In this case, it's only one, so let's stick to this one. We'll talk about templates later. They are just normal ARCHICAD files with a specific configuration of settings. The work environment profile is the next thing that you can decide on. We'll stick to the standard profile, 23. This list may look different in your version. If you've never worked with ARCHICAD, decide for a profile that sounds like a standard one. Now this template contains something I don't want to make use of in this tutorial, so I'm going to delete it. It's elevation markers. I will get rid of them just for the time being. And now let's see how this interface of ARCHICAD is built up. First of all, the most important thing is the central white space in the middle. It's a floor plan window and there's also a 3D window showing an empty 3D environment a construction plane and a horizon. And then we have this action center. This is new in ARCHICAD 23. It's presenting you with some crucial ingredients of your project file and can also check for updates here and so on. Just for the moment, we don't need it, so we get rid of it. Now, the second most important thing in ARCHICAD, of course, is the toolbox because you're using tools to build up your 3D model. You can always draw the lines between these windows and palettes and so on. Then you see there are names popping up and you can also unfold subsets of these tools. And you see the tools ARCHICAD offers for building up your 3D model and enhancing it with documentation, stuff like dimensions, text, and some other stuff that doesn't right fit into the categories above like camera, spline, and so on. So these are the tools that you use to produce something in ARCHICAD. You can click on it and you can start drawing the things that this tool, this specific tool offers. Now let's talk about this other palette up here. It's called the info box and it's showing you options for the selected tool. For example, the wall tool shows you options for walls. The line tool has options concerning how lines may look and so on. You can use your scroll wheel to move around in this huge info box ribbon, which might be bigger than your screen allows. Now for the menu, the file menu lets you create a new project, open a project, save a project and print something. Everything related to exchanging files can be found here. For example, the IFC settings or AutoCAD exchange files. The edit menu contains the usual stuff like copy paste and so on but also ARCHICAD specific tools like everything related to selections, grouping, locking, moving and so on. Most of the time you'll use these commands via shortcuts, but just to be sure they're also to be found in this edit menu. The view menu contains commands concerning what you see in your window. For example, the construction grid display can be switched on and off here and the usual set of helpers like guides, rulers, snapping functions, and so on. Also crucial stuff concerning your 3D projections, for example, which kind of projection, the light direction, and so on can be set in a subcommand in this menu. Design menu contains all the design tools that are to be found in the toolbox, but also the story settings and more 3D commands like the solid element operations, the magic wand settings, and some other stuff that doesn't quite fit into the toolbox, but is also very important for dealing with 3D geometry. Document menu presents you with a tool set for structuring the views of your 3D model, for example, the layers, but also the partial structure display, for example, which lets you decide if you want to see only the load bearing parts or the complete model. You can tweak the floor plan cut plane. You can also reach all the settings for photorealistic renderings and everything concerning schedules and lists and your layouts and drawings produced from your 3D model. These are all things stacked in this menu. Options offer you with a wide range of commands, not only concerning the project preferences like working units and of course your work environment, for example, the keyboard shortcuts that you might want to change, but also 3D model concerned options, for example, the element attributes, line types, pens, filled surfaces, and so on. This is the way you can manage your catalogs of drawing elements in your project. We won't deal with the teamwork menu at the moment, it contains commands for the teamwork functionality in ARCHICAD, allowing you to work on one file with several people. The window menu contains a list of toolbars and palettes. Also, you can switch between your open drawing windows. The help menu, pretty important. Most important is the ARCHICAD help. When you click on this, 
your default browser opens the Graphisoft Archicad manual and you can look up whatever you like. You can also right click on a specific tool, for example, the slab tool. And you see a question, what's this? And if you click on this, the specific page in this manual opens up and you can read everything concerning the slab tool. Now let's actually draw something. For the beginning, I would like to use a simple tool. I take the line tool and use the left mouse button to click and click again. And now you see we produced a line. Now, as you can see, it's gray and it's pretty thin. We can also change the line color to something black and draw another line. It's a bit thicker and it's black. We can also take a red line. What you can already see is that your cursor is snapping to other things. For example, to this one, you see that it's getting black when you hit something special. In this case, it's the intersection point. Before you start drawing, you can also choose another geometry. For example, in this case, we had a single line. We can now choose a chained line and I'll take another line color again. And by clicking points, you actually produce points of a polyline. And if you click twice, this polyline will be finished. You can also close a polyline just with the last point, hit the first point again, and you'll get a closed polyline. Next options are a rectangle or a rotated rectangle. Let's try them out. Rectangle. And let's draw a rotated rectangle. And it's going to look like this. Okay. Now let's say I want to draw a polyline and I, by mistake, started out with a rotated rectangle. You can always change back to the polyline mode and continue with this one. In polyline mode, if you want to go back one point, you can press the backspace key and you can move back until there's nothing left. Now that we produced some objects, let's talk about navigation. As you might already have seen, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out of your drawing. And you can see that the zoom value is changing while doing this. So you can also, of course, go to this small menu and choose, for example, 100%. But again, using your scroll wheel will be the tool of your choice most of the time. You can also press the mouse wheel and pan around. This doesn't mean you move your objects, it's just the camera that you move. One very important command is view, zoom, fit in window. You can choose it either from this menu, which you normally won't do. You can choose the keyboard shortcut, control, apostrophe. You can also change this one to, let's say, control zero, like in other programs, in the options menu. And you can also use this small button down here, fit in window. Okay. So what Archicad does, it fits all the stuff that you have drawn and which is visible into your window. Now let's talk about parameters of objects and how to set them. Let's say we want to start drawing a line. I select the line tool and I decide I want to have a solid line with a black pen color and I draw this polyline. What I get is a black polyline. When I realize this is not what I had in mind, I can change the settings afterwards. I can select this line and apply different settings. I use the arrow tool and select it. And now I can change the line type, for example, to a wave line and the color to some red. Okay. These are the two alternatives. You can think in advance about how your elements will look, or you can change the look of the elements afterwards. Now let's produce another line. It's a solid line again in black. And now let's transfer the parameters from this line to this one. Let's say this one is not correct. We want to have a black straight line instead of this wavy red line. So what you're going to do is you press the Alt key. You see your cursor changes to a small eyedropper. Then you click on this line. Now press Alt and Control. You see your cursor changing to a syringe. Click on this line and it'll change to the look of this line. Let's say you have the wall tool active and you want to draw a line that looks exactly like this one. You just press the Alt key, see your eyedropper again, click on this line, and now you see Archicad switch to the line tool together with all the settings that are part of this line. So this is a pretty elegant way to change tools and have you start out with settings that you already know. So let's say you want to draw another line like this, but your line settings are like this. Press the Alt key, click on the axis of this one, 
And now you see the line tool is ready to use with the settings of this line. And now you can proceed just elsewhere. And it's also producing a line like this. Up to now, we talked about parameters of lines like line type and pen color. A pretty important parameter of each element that you ever produce is its layer assignment. When I select an object like this, there's this part of my info box, which tells me that this object belongs to the 2D drafting general layer. And as you can see, there's an eye in front of it. So it means this layer is visible, which of course is obvious. When I click on this button, I see the whole list of layers my project contains. This is a list that you can manage yourself. You can have quite a different list of layers. And from this menu, I can choose another layer that I can assign my object to. So now my selected object belongs to another layer, meaning you can assign a new layer to each selected object. And also when you start drawing something, together with a decision about other parameters, like in this case, line type and pen color, you can also decide before drawing the layer assignment. So this is all about choosing parameters before drawing, changing them afterwards, or transferring them from one element to the other. And now let's also see where you can choose these settings. As I showed you, you can do this in this info box up here, but then again, you can also have another window for this, which is in most cases more comprehensive and allows a better overview. When you press Control T, a settings window opens up presenting you with all these settings of this special tool and you can have the same settings as above in this info box if you have a line that you want to change click on this line now you can also press ctrl t and have the same window so this works for preparing your drawing or changing your drawing you can also double click the tool see the same window again or you can single click it and press this icon and you'll get the same settings window. This is it, the first part of my tutorial series, ArchiCAD Basics. See you in the next video.